the ranger's hat and shovel and a pair of dungarees. You will find him in the forest always sniffing at the breeze. People stop and pay attention when he tells them to beware. Cause everybody knows that he's the fire preventing bear. Smokey the bear, Smokey the bear, prowling and a growling and a sniffing the air. He can find a fire before it starts to flame. That's why they call him Smokey, that was how he got his name. Remember, only we, you and I, can prevent forest fire. in fire on the landscape. No, I will not turn. Yeah. And the result of that is what we see today. huge fires that are out of control, that are burning at higher severity, and people who are really disconnected from fire and very scared of it. Most modern of all forest firefighters. We started to see centuries old fire practices that native peoples did suppressed. It is estimated that these peacetime parachutists have saved 10,000 acres of timber so far this year. The fires that I used to fight, uh, they were smaller, um, they were less intense. California's forests have changed noticeably, I would say, in my lifetime. We've seen just drastic changes in the species composition of our forests, in the density of those forests. The accumulation of woody fuel and the warming climate have just created an environment where it's just so unpredictable about what's going to happen now. And then you layer on top of that drought. We've had mass tree die-offs in California. It's clear to me that climate change is a driver of everything that happens, whether it's drought, whether it's wildfire, whether it's changing precipitation patterns. We start seeing that fire season expanding, you know, like with the campfire in paradise, that burned in November. What was a problem 50 years ago is now a major problem. Visiting burn sites in California is, is really pretty intense. I've visited burn sites uh, where whole forests have been removed, uh, where residences have burned down, where a family has lost its home, and to think about what has happened there and, and, and how we move forward from that. It's very different walking a burn site where someone lost their home than walking a burn site where it's a healthy part of a natural ecosystem, where chaparral brushland has burned up, where it's a fire-adapted ecosystem that has evolved in the presence of fire. And seeing that flush of growth and all the wildflowers that come up, it's just stunning, it, it's exhilarating. Uh, it's a wonderful thing to see. In one case, it's just tragic and it raises so many questions. And in another case, when you walk a natural site that burned, it just feels right and the, and the, the proliferation of new growth is just exhilarating. 